Oh, boy. How y'all doing? I've been dealing with a nerve pain in my back. Every time I move my legs up or down, it just shoots horrible, horrible pain throughout my body. I have to have other people put my socks and shoes on because I can't bend down to do it. I'm trying to kill a little time here, so I figured I would make a, a video. This is a hundred getting to know you quote questionnaire. hundred questions for me. But we're not going to do all hundred of them. I'm just trying to kill time, right? And I ain't got nothing to watch and bored. So why not? I'm trying to work on my talking. I talk to my phone more than I talk to anybody in real life. So I'm forgetting my vocabulary, actually. But the first one, let's see, it says, who is your hero? I really don't have a hero. Uh, Kurt Cobain. How about that? I like Kurt Cobain. But I wouldn't call him my hero. Or was. But still wouldn't call him that. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? It would be a toss-up between Seattle, Washington, and somewhere in New England. I've always had a fascination with New England. What is your biggest fear? Uh, it would be a toss-up between not being able to provide for my family and other people driving my family around in cars. I've always had a weird thing about that. I don't like other people driving my children because I just don't trust anybody else, I guess. But yeah, that's one of my big fears. I hate when my kids are driving with anybody, except their mom, of course. I trust her as a driver, but nobody else. What is your favorite family vacation? Uh, I need to put this on. Oh, the rules, you know. What is your favorite family vacation? Uh, we used to go to Navarre Beach every summer growing up in Navarre Beach, Florida. My dad was a men's softball coach. And the Billy Bowleg tournaments usually fell, I think, early June every year. And I always enjoyed going there and always eating at Fud Puckers. It was a restaurant, I think, in Destin, right outside of, Nir uh, I want to say Nirvana, <laughs> Navarre Beach. What would you change about yourself if you could? My anxiety issue, 100% my anxiety problems and me evaluating every scenario that could go wrong or right usually never dwell too much on what could go right normally what could go wrong and it keeps me from making choices indecisive which has kept me at my job for nine years because I'm not a risk taker my luck I get a job that I like doing and they have layoffs in two weeks and I have no job and I just passed up my job security here that I'm, you know, a pretty decent job security here. I've been here a long time. I like to think they like me. Um, what really makes you angry? Uh, not really anything makes me angry. Some people think I have an ang anger problem. I don't have an anxiety problem and I just get worked up. I can't really think of anything making me angry. Having car problems, we'll go with that. What motivates you to work hard, supporting myself and those around me? And I have some sort of future, but I'm at a dead end job because of my anxiety. What is your favorite thing about your career? Uh, the people I work with would be about the only thing I could say. And I don't have to do that much, so. But I'm not lazy in that term. I, I'd rather be moving around, but. It is what it is. What is your biggest complaint about your job? The shift I work. That would definitely be my com only complaint, really. And the pay, right? What is your proudest accomplishment? My children, I guess. I mean, I guess. I mean, I really don't know anything I really accomplished. Other than that, I love my children. What is your child's proudest accomplishment? Is my child's proudest accomplishment? I, I don't know. I have to ask them. Bear with me. Uh, I know my my baby girl got tickled pink whenever she hit a grand slam home run in softball. And I still hear about that to this day that won the game for her. So that's a pretty proud accomplishment, I assume, for her. What is your favorite book to read? favorite book to read. I really don't read that much. Uh, I should. Help kill time, right? Give me something else to think about besides worrying all the time. That would be a plus. Bear with me. 
whole boom, boom, boom. All right, where were we? What makes you laugh the most? I don't laugh that much really anymore. But if I'm gonna, I'm gonna name a comedian, Martin Lawrence is my favorite comedian. Or was back in the 90s. But I don't laugh too much. What was the last movie you went to? Avengers uh, Infinity War, I think. Or Jurassic Park, one of the two. What did you want to be when you were small? I guess that means when I was a child. Uh, either a lawyer or a professional baseball player. Neither panned out. Could have been either one, I guess. Or at least tried, but my anxiety got the best of me. And I had children young, so I had to take care of them. And really didn't care about pursuing anything other than just making a check. What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? My youngest daughter wants to be in the Coast Guard. The other ones, they really don't elaborate. I ask them, but they, they don't know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Make a million dollars a minute. <laughs> How about that? Doing nothing. Because what kind of job would be worthy of that? What is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? I like watching Alabama football, but playing would be baseball, which I hadn't played in over a decade. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? It's a weird question. Uh, ride a horse. No, 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 I'm scared of heights. I don't really, ride a bike. That's a weird question. What would you sing at karaoke night? Carrying Your Love By Me by George Street. Or, uh, no. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. What kind of radio stations do you listen to the most when you're in your car? Uh, classic rock and grunge, I guess. I'm not going to say a station because y'all ain't going to know what stations those are if I just name out a number. So that's the type of music I like. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, or clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? <laughs> vacuum the house. I, I used to have a weird fascination with vacuuming. <laughs> no, no, you pervert. Uh, I, I like making the lines in the, in the carpet. I don't like using the hose. Mm -mm. And Doofy off the movie screen came to mind. Don't mess with me when I'm cleaning my room. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak and potatoes. Seasoned down really good. Have you ever had a nickname? If so, what is it? We're definitely not going to go into the hundreds on these questions. I'm just going to do it until I get tired, which is probably another five minutes. All right, so what was that? Have you ever had a nickname? What? Well, no, never had a nickname. One of my brothers used to call me Jughead, and I didn't like it because I got a big head. Do you like or dislike surprises? Well, obviously, I like good surprises. But I don't like being caught off guard with anything. Definitely don't like bad surprises. Who would say they did? In the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? Well, I work evening shift, so I work. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska, and why? Alaska, I'm more cold nature. But my children would probably like Hawaii more. Alaska, I like to do some hunting in Alaska. Stay in a cabin, do some skiing. My luck, I'd get stuck on a ski lift and freeze to death. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job? And why? I'd rather win the lottery and then go get the perfect job with the money I won with the lottery. Hire or pay for the training to get the perfect job. Win-win. Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted, a deserted island? Uh, Jaden James. I'm kidding. So I don't mean that, Amanda. Uh, hmm. My deceased father. When he was alive, of course. My adopted father. For anybody who don't know. I have two dads. Or did. If money was no object, what would you do all day? Uh. I don't know. Hunt. Yeah, I'd hunt. I like to hunt. If you can go back in time, what year would you travel to? 1999. 
1999. How would your friends best describe you? Well, I really don't have many friends. I have one friend. A schizo. I ain't no schizophrenic. A hypochondriac. Let's go with that one. What are your hobbies? I don't have any hobbies. Besides YouTube. I actually like doing YouTube, even though I don't get much views. Still gives me something to do, right? And I don't mind if I embarrass myself. It don't really hurt me at the end of the day. Used to it would when I was younger. Because I care what people think. I don't no more. Uh, let's see. What is the best gift you have ever been given? My children. What is the worst gift you ever, ever received? A pair of handcuffs. Being slapped on me. <laughs> Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm going to try to answer that positive. That way, might do something in the universe. A multimillionaire. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what I. That's what I. That's how I see myself in five years. How many pair of shoes do you own? Three. My work sh work boots. My regular boots and a pair of Nikes. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Uh, to be able to grow corn in any climate in world starvation what would you do if you won the lottery make sure my children never wanted for anything again uh, charity and make sure I was taken care of along with my, my family buy a house in cash have the title never have to worry about being homeless again uh, if you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? Uh, to tell my parents to properly get a hold on my anxiety problem before I grew too old with it and couldn't do anything with it. Or over worrying, I guess. My hypochondriacism, if I see even a word. Okay. If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? I'm going to try to keep my children out of this. Obviously, that would be my first picks. But I'm going to go with my deceased father, my alive biological father, my mother, and the old lady. Yeah. How many pillows do you sleep with, too? What's the longest you've gone without sleep? 48 hours. And why? Anxiety. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Used to, I had both. Now I really have neither. So I would definitely trade intelligence, though, for looks if I had to answer that question. How often do you buy clothes? Very, fairly never. Have you had a secret admirer? Sure, I had in school or so. Now I don't think I do. I don't know. It's a secret. I don't know. What's your favorite holiday? Used to be Christmas, but. I don't have a, Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, definitely Halloween. Love that season. All the dark stuff. I think I'm secret gothic kind of person, but just never made it public. I'm emo. Yeah. Ooh. What is the most daring thing you have ever done? I don't want to implicate myself, so I'm not going to answer that. Knock up two girls when I was 15 years old. <laughs> but no, that ain't what I was going to go with. What was the last thing you recorded on TV? The Goonies. What was the last book you read? Underboss, the Sammy Gravano story. Sammy the Bull, Underboss. The Gambino crime family in New York, one of the five families. Used to have a big fascination with the mafia. That kind of went on. Are you a clean or messy person? I like to think of myself as clean. Looking at my house, you wouldn't think that, but my kids do not clean up after themselves. Landon does. Who would you want to play you in a movie in your life? Who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? A young Al Pacino. Or Tom Hardy. Or Johnny Depp. That's my three I'd pick. How long did it take you to get ready in the morning? Not long at all. Jump in the shower, throw what little clothes I got on. What kitchen appliances do you use every day? The refrigerator. I don't think that'd be anybody's answer. Uh... I don't know. Yeah, the refrigerator would be my answer.
What's your favorite fast food chain? Uh, used to be Wendy's growing up. Well, me and my mom and brother would always go on Sundays when we went to the mall in the movies. KB Toys, Toys R Us, and we'd always go to Wendy's. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I hate them. I'm scared of heights. I'm an adrenaline junkie who's scared of heights. What is your favorite family tradition? Drinking beer. We don't have a family tradition. Hunting. What is your favorite childhood memory? Going to Alabama games with my dad. What is your favorite movie? The Godfather. I love The Godfather. How old were you when you found out Santa wasn't real? Well, I was officially told when I was 10, but I really never believed in him after five or six. Is your glass half full or half empty? Half empty, because I think a thirsty person learns to appreciate a half-filled glass instead of a full one, because he thinks he has enough, so he just chugs it. At half, I think you uh, appreciate it more, so I'm we'll going go with half full. No, that ain't, no, that, that wasn't even the, uh, the question, was it? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that one. What is the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? Got chased by Rottweilers and pit bulls. That's kind of an inside story. Uh, what three items would you take with you on a deserted island? Hmm. Food, water, and a lady. What was your favorite subject in school? History and math. If I had to pick, it would be math. Uh, do you collect anything? I used to collect DVDs. Not, not anymore. All that went out the window. I used to love Christmas, collect DVDs, right? Used to have things I like to do, and that just all stopped just out of nowhere. And there's reasons behind it, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Is there anything you wish would come back into fashion? The 90s. Anything to do with the 90s. I'm going to pick one more, and we're going to call it a wrap. Yeah, or one or two more. i got to get ready to go. What's the most interesting... No, I don't like that one. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? When I'm not stressed out, my anxiety ain't through the roof, I give myself an 8. I think I'm pretty funny. When I'm a funny guy, I amuse you. I'm a clown. What's the funny about me? Joe Pesci, good fellas. How many languages do you speak? One. I barely speak English that well. Who is the most intelligent person you know? Mm, my my friend who lives out of state. I've known him for about nine years now, and I would go with him. No point in saying his name, because y'all don't know him. Has a great job, great family. I admire him 100%, love him to death. What is one thing you will never do again? See my deceased father, and that makes me pretty sad. But who would? Who knows you best? Well, my children's mother, obviously. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's that's what we're gonna do away with. We are we're done with the questionnaire. Help me burn about what going on twenty minutes. So I'm about ready to get back in here and go out there and freeze, head home. And I guess I will do another video sometime tomorrow or not. I don't know. It's hit and miss with me. Uh, hopefully I won't sleep all day tomorrow like I did today. Like I said, sleeping for me here lately has been about the funnest thing I do because it keeps me from worrying but my dreams has been very livid lately I've been having a hard time deciphering like the memories of my dreams I have to remind myself that during the day hey that didn't happen man that was your dream I had a, I have a weird dream I want to I elaborate on just make a video out of it about uh, aliens it happened about a week ago and it was so surreal so surreal and it kind of haunted me for a few days not haunted me but as real as it was like in my dreams, I know I'm dreaming, and I, I I try to make the most of it in this different reality while I'm in there, because I know I'm gonna wake up. And the thing is, I can make my own choices consciously in my dreams. It's weird. It's very weird. But I mean, what do y'all care, right? Y'all have a good night, or whenever y'all see this, whatever you're, whatever's coming, morning or night, just have a have a good one, okay? See y'all when I see you, big dogs.